We have example after example of this administration coordinated, apparently, according to a federal court, by your agency, pressuring, coercing social media companies to engage in censorship. Is that constitutional? That is unequivocally false. Is what the emails show. It is unequivocally false, Senator. You are not pressuring the big tech companies to take down accounts. You are not meeting with them to ask them to censor on your behalf. That is correct. We are not. Here's my point, Mr. Secretary. It has been established for years in this country, as you very well know, because you're a lawyer, that the federal government may not use private third parties to engage in activities that are unconstitutional. That's exactly what you and this administration are doing. You are leveraging private companies to carry out censorship on your behalf. It's dystopian, but worse than that, it's unconstitutional. It's also false. Turn now to a story breaking overnight. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg claims he was pressured by the White House to censor content related to COVID-19 during the pandemic. Aaron Katursky joins us now with details. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you, Whit. For years, critics have taken aim at Facebook for silencing views that challenge the general consensus in the medical community, especially about the origin of COVID-19. Now Facebook's founder surprisingly says they're right. This morning, Meta Chief Mark Zuckerberg admitting he bowed to pressure from the Biden administration to censor content. The Facebook founder issuing a letter to the House Judiciary Committee that said senior administration officials pushed the social media platform to censor posts about COVID-19 and expressed a lot of frustration when the company resisted. Zuckerberg saying, I believe the government pressure was wrong, and I regret that we were not more outspoken about it. Adding, I feel strongly that we should not compromise our content standards due to pressure from any administration in either direction. And we're ready to push back if something like this happens again. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan celebrating the letter, calling it a big win for free speech.